three in Melbourne on the show tonight. Hawk legend Calvin Moore, Carlton's Kate Simpson. We catch up with the Cats on the Gold Coast and Waggers perform live. Welcome to you, Gilly, my brother. Yeah, look, it's great to be here, brother. And in the words of you two in Green Day, the Saints are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about the full forwards because it seems to me this year, year that the spearheads are kicking less goals than what they were last year. If we look at the same time last year, we had Nick Rebolt on 61 goals this year, Lance Franklin on 46, Barry Hall 54. So there's quite a difference there in goals, Gilbert. Yeah, now look, I reckon it's got a lot to do with the press, but also I reckon it's got to do with this new sub rule. Gilly, what do you mean by the press? Give me, is that the media you're talking about? The or press. The way to, the <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, it's, it's when I get the awning. The <laughs> awning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> press me shirt, mate. <laughs> look at the stats. It's only, you know, from, from 40 metres to 60 metres, the goals are coming from there rather we... than 20 metres uh, to goal. What about the full fours? They're probably just sharing the football around unselfish. And just sharing it around. Have you ever thought that maybe the press has got nothing to do with it? Maybe they're just chipping it around and, and sharing amongst the forward line. It's no, that's not right. Possibly. That's not, not right, right Gilly. <laughs> no. Here we've just got some footage here again. Chad Corn's still dragging him. That's just down the road. Chris, oh, you've been sorry. involved with the uh, under-16 international carnival? Yeah, yeah we've been up at the uh, under-16 championships in Sydney and uh, coached the world team. We've got, we got uh, 12 uh, internationals over and uh, we had our first win on Australian soil against the NT. So to those boys Ooh. out there, they're, at, uh, they're up in the hotel rooms now watching. So hello, boys. Uh, well done. We've still got one more, one more hurdle to get over. So uh, South Pacific side so, uh, on Saturday. So we'll see how we go. You focus on the world team. What about Avondale Heights? Mate, we're going to win the game. We won three in a row. Look at you sitting up here like a big bloody coach. What about the club that you coach and won a game? That you get paid 50 grand a cage. We won three. Be that country music with the country feel. A little bit of Will and Nelson with our evening meal on. Catch up with you again. I haven't seen you since you were the chairman of Selectors when I was at St Kilda, and it's interesting to see all these mobs say stuff about Yabby. I can see probably a bit of Yabby in you because one thing I did when I was playing with, un, under you and Bomber and Hutto was use a great communicator, and that's what they say about Genji. So it's obviously rubbed off on you. But look, Jesus. I just wanted to ask you. You haven't taught him anything, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, he Ronnie. taught me a lot of things you don't know. Anyway, but. OK, Rock and Ronnie, yes, let's just check well, on how Milne's going at yeah, the moment. Yeah, well, Kelvin, you've just seen that little rough and the tumble there on the weekend, and uh, <laughs> there we go. We just saw Chad Corns, he's just decided to go to the ATM and uh, <laughs> throw some money out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Definitely doggies for me, Gil, but we're back. Back oh. in town. Yeah, look, I don't know if you're back, but you won the game last <laughs> week. <laughs> no, 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 smother him, Gilbert, yeah, smother him. No, 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 look, hey, look don't, don't get me wrong. North Melbourne, they'd be really shattered after last week. They're oh. going to come out. Oh, no, they got doing? something to prove, but right. I just think that you blokes are starting to play well. Bulldogs just. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Stephen Mutlop and Alan Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> well, first up, Steve, tell us about your week in the Gold Coast, brother, because you've just made it into the side and you're already jet-setting around the country. You've been down to the theme parks, had a few rides. How you been going? Yeah, no, it's good. We've, uh, we've come up uh, a week early for the, the Brisbane game and uh, got to go on the Gold Coast and, um, you know, on the few rides at the theme parks and, you know, a <laughs> chance for these old guys up here to have a few days off and, yeah, have to get some rest, I suppose. <laughs> Alan, uh, Nathan Vardy, uh, a little bit disappointed he didn't, uh, wasn't allowed to get on that Superman ride because he was too tall. Is that going to affect his game <laughs> on the weekend? 
Uh, no, nah, I hope not, but uh, he probably deserved it. He's a big gollywog, so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Al, it's no coincidence since you've been on Mangrook, brother. You've been flying. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll leave you two guys alone now, and uh, good luck for Saturday night's big game, mate. I hope you have a good one. Thanks, guys. I know you've played 148 games, but you're a bit of a quiet achiever, aren't you, really? Because you've played actually 134 consecutive games for Carlton. That's a pretty good effort, Ooh, yeah. folks. Yeah, yeah. Now, you haven't missed a game since 2005. I reckon you're going to have a little bit of a secret there. Um, oh, nothing really. Uh, just it's probably getting a bit harder as we go on now. The game's probably getting tougher and tougher. So, um, yeah, probably a bit of luck involved as well. But, um, yeah, it's just, just good, I suppose. Okay, it's always good to have a Carlton player in here. Uh, <laughs> my other team, it jumped ship pretty quick. Really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Oh, We've got a, a lot of great players who are sort of go through that wing and half back. So, yeah, it could be Shaw or Thomas, one of those guys. Okay, one player I want to talk about is uh, Brock McLean. He oh, seems can't, can't get into the side at the moment. He's gone back to the VFL, been getting injuries and all that sort of stuff. Where he's at the moment, I, like, he's actually played at Northern Bulls. He's copped a bit from here from the opposition supporter here. And uh, just where where's he at the moment with football? <laughs> yeah, Brock's going well. He's, uh, he's playing great footy when he's down in the twos. Um, there's probably just a couple of guys uh, just ahead of him at the moment with um, Kurnow really stepping up uh, this year. Um, yeah, you probably don't like to see those things uh, from supporters uh, yelling stuff out to players, and especially in uh, reserves level, you sort of hear everything uh, that's said on the boundary line. So, um, it's just asking yeah. for directions how to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, now look, I'm going to come down from Shepherd early in the morning, I'm going to come and watch this game. That'll take six hours. And I'm going to watch Carlton beat Collingwood in an upset. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go out to Shelley in the audience. Where are you, Shell? I'm here, I've got Paul who had a lot to say about what the boys just said on the panel then about Collingwood. <laughs> and Carlton. He's a big Carlton supporter. How do you think the boys are going to go? It's, we're taking on number one. Do you think we're going to win? Yes, well, I travel from interstate for this, so I'm expecting a big effort. <laughs> Huge effort. Okay. And you're one of my favourite players. I really like your durability and you're very good on the left foot. I love you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, <laughs> <now you're... laughs> Not you, Ronnie Burns.